What's going on, everybody? Game of the and welcome back to some more Go Vacation, where yesterday we completed... We completed marine bike races and skydiving, and in this episode, we will be completing more events, starting off with beach volleyball, which if we turn our motor, our marine bike around, we can find located just on the edge of the beach. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, yeah, you may remember yesterday I commented about how my skin color on the me in no way represents the tan color. Well, I'm not like deep, deep tan, but I definitely have a tan. Like, I... I it's not, you know, the beach will do that to you, and swimming will do that to you, and being outside will do that to you, but it's def- I've changed my skin color in the me- uh, stop it camera. The me channel to actually make it, you know, look like my skin color, and that's tan. You know, you can see the tan on my body, you can see the tan on my face, and my feet, and all of that. Um, so, I, I just wanted to change it to make it look more like me, and so that I just didn't, I didn't just look like, you know, the sand right here. But, anyway, I'm not gonna stop rambling about that now, and we are going to get straight into beach volleyball. Ah, nothing feels better than getting some exercise on the beach. Hey, you there. Looks like you're itching for a game of beach volleyball. Don't try to hide it. I've got a sixth sense for these things. I can tell from the way you're eyeing my volleyball that I'm not holding, and is nowhere in the immediate vicinity of me. Well, come on then, get in gear. The match is about to start. I can't wait to see what your game is like. Beach Volleyball! You only need the Wiimote for this activity, so I will unplug the nunchuck from my Wii Remote. Um, for receiving and tossing, you swing up. You gotta time it right, though. And for jumping, you... Just press the B button, and then for spiking, you press B, and then swing down whilst jumping. Pretty basic controls, so we are going to get straight into beach volleyball. Alright, so, up and then down. As for the usual, you swing it up, and then you swing it down, and then hit it up, your partner hits it up, you s and then I'm gonna- Oh, I didn't spike it! Oh, I wanted to- I wanted to spike it. Darn it. Okay. So now it's there, sir. And now I can hit it up. You can hit it up. I can spike it. Boom! Ding, frazz are done. Alright, let's do this. My partner's gonna hit it up. They're gonna hit it back. Hit it over. Sp oh, I missed the spike. Yeah, that was fair. It's funny, if you don't, if you don't, this, this game's all about timing. If you don't time it correctly, then you're done. Okay, let me hit it over. Partner hits it up. Spike it down. Admittedly, it's a little unfair to spike it repetitively. I'm, I'm you know, I'm not going to spike. I'm, I'm not going to spike anymore. It's a little unfair. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Okay, they're going to hit it. And my partner's going to... Oh, that was, what? Partner, you were right there. You were right there. <sighs> okay. Whatever. All right, that's me. That's me. That's my partner. Ah! Oh my! Oh! 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 They're throwing the spikes right back at us. They're throwing the spikes right back at us. All right. Maybe I need to start spiking again. If they're gonna throw the spikes right back at us, hit it up. Partner hits it up. Jump and spike it down. Oh! They saved the spike. They saved this. Oh, I should not have. I should not have done that. Uh, what are we playing to? Are we playing to eight? I think we might be playing to eight, which means this could very much be a loss for me. Unless I spike it like that, the I the they're getting smarter though. They're they're foreseeing my spikes. I think I think this AI, the game's AI um adjusts to how you to when to like to your gameplay style. So like if if the game knows you're gonna spike a lot, it might be able to predict when you spike and send the the computers ahead to go and stop it. But that's just me. What do I know? Oh oh, uh, it hit the net. I thought it, I thought it was gonna. Oh, are they gonna? Oh, they're gonna try and spike it, but they're gonna fail because they hit the net. And I'm gonna spike it right back at them. Boo yeah! Four to six. We can still make a comeback because it's not based on time, it's based off of points. Let's see how good we do or if we lose. And I do not know what we are playing to. Partner, spike! Oh, that's dead, yeah. You have to hit a really hard sp- I should- I- Why do I keep- I can't spike when it comes over the first time. I can't do that. I shouldn't do that. Ugh! Hit it, and then boom! Oh, oh, they saw it coming. But then so did I. Okay, 
If, if, I don't think we're playing the eight because I think it would have said match point by now. And Spike. Oh, they're seeing it coming. They, they can foresee my moves. Oh, hit it up once more, partner. Spike it down. Oh, oh, they hit it out of bounds. They hit it out of bounds. That's a point for us. That is a point for us. Yeah, I remember I was on the, um, I was playing recreational volleyball, um, at one time. And the coach was really impressed with my, um, my serving abilities. And apparently my parents were avid volleyball players just the same as I was. So he, my parents definitely weren't surprised that I could, um, serve either. But I was because I had never played volleyball up until that point. And Armstrong's actually very adamant about volleyball himself. So he was very impre or Im impressed and thrilled that I was getting into the habit of it. But hit it up. Okay, let's, let's go, partner. Let's go, partner. Spike it down. Oh, I guess that was not so much of a spike. Hit it up. Hit it to the partner. Spike it once more. Ha! Ah, and the score is tied. What? Do we, um, maybe we're playing the 10. I bet you we're playing the 10. Which means now we just have to hold the lead. Well, we're not in the lead yet. We gotta get into the lead and then hold that position. Hit it once more. Once more to him. Spike it down. They did not see that one coming. Or if they did, they weren't quick enough to react to it. So we are in the lead eight to seven. match. Okay, we're playing the nine. We're playing the nine. Match point. Okay, here we go. Oh, hit it up. Once more for my and they're gonna hit it. They're gonna hit it once more. It goes to me, to my partner. Can I spike it? I cannot spike it. Well, I yeah, that was definitely not a spike. Okay, hit it once to my partner once. Back to me. Can I spike this? No, I cannot. I didn't even try to spike that. Okay, let's go on a balance between the girls over there. Come on. You know, once more, friend. And then spike it. Oh, this is the most intense round yet. Probably because it's match point and the stakes are even higher. Come on. Ugh, it just oh, oh. And that is a win for our team. Ladies and gentlemen, volleyball fork. Fork? Folks, that is the match. Ha. <sighs> and now we're doing a perfectly synchronized dance. Oh, that was a good game. Good game. You win. What? What? Are you starting to get the hang of running on sand? You only just started. So take your time. Come back and play again. That is our third stamp collected. There are only 17 left before we reach 20, but more events to do. Joe, congratulations on getting three stamps. In exchange, I'll give you some juicy information. First, some news about the convenient modes of transportation available. For example, the Marine Resort has its very own cruiser and airplane. You can board in the pink areas. Check them out! Second, an invitation for a treasure hunt. There are seven treasure chests hidden at each resort. Each holds a special outfit inside. Find them and have fun playing dress up. Whenever you want to change into something you found, just speak with the staff at the information center. Now, for the Kawaii Stamp Dash, the next activity I'd recommend is... ATV races! They're looking for participants near the large water fountain behind the hotel at Sunshine Beach. If you haven't ridden an ATV before, make sure to practice before you play. Have fun! I'll be looking out for you! Okay, and to clarify something about the treasure the treasure chests and the treasure hunt, on Friday, if I get the Marine Resort done by Thursday, which I'm hoping that I will, or Thursday's tomorrow, I'm hoping that I will, then I can, I will be doing a treasure hunt, or treasure chests, all treasure chests video on Friday for the Marine Resort, and then the process will repeat next week with the City Resort. So, in order to make that happen, we need to be efficient with the amount of events we can get done in a matter of 20 minutes or so. so or 20, 22 minutes, I should say. Uh, there's a photo op right there, but I'm not going to... And then we're going to head over to the ATV races right behind this building. I'm going to try not to run into any of the tables. Oh, d d d jump! Okay. And now we have hit the ATV races location. We're going to go in reverse here. Oh, sorry, friend. Didn't mean to hit you there. I totally... I didn't. But, all right, now we are going to break, dismount, and let's go talk to this guy. Hey, we'll have an ATV race. Want to join in? It's always more fun racing against other people, don't you think? That's what my friend always say. Hmm? My friend? My ATV, of course. Great, it's settled. Get ready to ride with the wind on your ATV. Basically, this is an all-terrain vehicle if you, don't know, if you do not know what ATV stands for. And we have to finish three laps before our opponents, and we are literally going over all terrain. And I said at the end of the last video that we cannot drive into the water. That's false, and it's true. You can't go into the deep water, obviously, um, but you can skid across these um, the shallow points of water as we are going to skid through here. Get out of my way, purple air. 
That's your new nickname, Purple Hair. We can like right here. This is pretty shallow, so we're oh no 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 no. Oh, this this purple haired girl got it out for me. Or maybe it's a guy. I don't know. Uh, we can skip to those places because they are really shadow shallow, and our wheels keep, don't have a lot of places to go. We can do tricks with the ATV as well. I'm just not going to perform any of that. Hey, what are you breaking for? Oh, you're breaking around the turn. Uh, I probably should have done that myself. But I am in third place now. Um, and I explained the controls for the ATV last time. It's pretty much the same as the marine bike, except it's a land vehicle. Or except it's an all-terrain vehicle, essentially. I, would, I shouldn't say it's a land vehicle. Uh, we are now in first place, but I don't know if we're going to be able to hold on to that position. Because um, we've got three laps to do. And we've got a lot of time to lose, and a lot of time to lose our position. Probably should have said those all in one, seeing as time to lose. Never mind. Alright, and that is lap one completed in 59 seconds, roughly. So now we're ready to start our second lap. If you look at the map, or I say map, the, I guess the tracker or the diagram on the left-hand screen, or the left-hand side of the screen, you can see that... With each white dash, that's that indicates the laps. That bottom one is the starting. The second one is uh, finishing the first lap, moving on to the second lap. The third one is moving on to the third lap, finishing the second lap. And the final one is the finish line. So it's a nice little chart mapping how we're doing. And according to the chart or the diagram, yeah, I guess I, it's not a map, but it's I, it cl more closely maps, fits the definition of a diagram than it does a map. So according to the diagram, I am in the lead by a little bit, well, then again, a little bit in this game is a lot when it comes to how much you're ahead by, so I'm proud of myself. Something I wish that uh, they could have implemented was a look behind you feature, which, actually, let me try something. No, you can't, you can't hold C and look behind you when you're racing, which, I think that's something to think about it, because in the Mario Kart games, oh no, that might cost me, that might cost me the win. Uh, in the Mario Kart games, you could hold down a button, depending on which control style you use, to look behind you and just. I I've, I've I I'm considering doing a challenge video on Mario Kart 8 or Mario Kart Wii where I just hold down that or tape that button down and literally draw or try to complete the race with the camera stuck in front of me instead of behind me, which is an interesting challenge. I've tried doing it before on my own time, and it's not easy. It is not easy. You really need to know the courses like, to a science in order to get that done. So, if I was to do that challenge, I would need to know what I would really, really know what I was doing before I even bothered attempting the challenge. But there we go, that are, that is the ATV race event done. And we won. Not gonna watch the replay, we don't need to. Alright, Kauai Island. Good job, this, this... There are lots of other states to race ATVs, so come by again for some more fun. Congrats on setting a new record. Let's see if you can break it again. So what he meant by that is that there's different stages. To each event, for the most part, there are different stages that you can complete. Or stages per an event. Basically, you know, there's stage 1, stage 2, stage 3, they're all varying difficulty. I'm not going to be covering all those, um, but just know they are there if you want to go back and do them. Congratulations on getting 4 stamps! You can now access the city resort. Just visit the information center and the staff will help you. Now, for the Kawaii Stamp Dash, the next activity I'd recommend is... Scuba diving! Check in at the reception desk at the Sunshine Beach Pier. Have fun! I'll be looking out for you! Which means we need to mount and... Uh, we're gonna go walking, um, because we're gonna be ditching an ATV anyway since we have to go to the pier. And I'm going to see if I can find a marine bike anywhere. Because I know that they just sometimes have them kind of lying around oh, around the place. And as you can see on the map down there, the red, the, the, um, the scuba diving look pier, or the Sunshine Beach pier, is just across this lake. I could tech allegedly or technically go across the border of the, of the lake to do this, or to get there, but I'm not going to do that because it would take way too much time at the, sp at the pace we are walking at. So I'm instead going to attempt to find a marine bike. There's one. There's a marine bike. And that, what was that? I just got stopped by something. And I'm going to then use that to go across the lake and reach um, the, the scuba diving or the Sunshine Beach Pier. So let's go over and do just that. Um, it's right here. Now we could, yes, we. I know what you're thinking. We could have just taken the border along to get to it, 
but that could that wouldn't have been as straightforward as you may think because of how long this distance would have taken given the, the our abysmal walking speed so it's, we're on par with tails from song the hedgehog 2006 all right let's talk to this guy welcome are you enjoying your stay at the marine resort sign up here for some scuba diving scuba diving has always been one of our most popular activities with an oxygen tank you can swim freely throughout the water there's something so magical about the ocean world whether you're explorer diving spots or just snapping pictures of fish Interested in diving for some scuba diving? Diving in for some scuba diving? I'll sh I'm sure it'll leave you with some incredible memories. This time we actually do need to unchuck. We have to find the sea turtles within five minutes. Um, to move forward, you need to shake the Wii remote rapidly. To change the direction, use the control stick. To stop yourself, press the V button. And to find creatures, or take a picture essentially, press the A button. Now there are six loggerhead sea turtles that we need to find and snap pictures of. So, let's see what we can do about that, shall we? Uh, shake the remote to move throughout the water. And this is literally a case of how fast can you find these turtles. And there really is no rhyme or reason to where they are. It's just a matter of swimming around and finding them. But look, there's two right here, right here. There's one of them right here. We're going to snap a picture of it really quickly. Good. And then if we head over here to the right-hand side, there should be... There's actually- oh, there's two! There's- oh, there's three! There's three! That's one! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get this one. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's another one over there to the left. I knew I saw it. Okay, snap a picture of you. To the left-hand side over this way. And we will snap a picture of you. Now, the different stages for scuba diving, it basically changes the number of sea creatures you need to find. Uh, just kind of as a preliminary. Uh, tip, that's how it is, and we've already found this turtle. You'll know you found a turtle if the turtle is stopped in its position. If it's stopped, you've already found it. Um, wait, is that one? No, those are just, those are just fish. Uh, I don't, can't seem to find the other two sea, oh, there's one, there's one. There's one, oh wait, no, there's two. I found both of them. Okay, they're swimming pretty close together. Um, let's see what I can do to snap a picture of you, and then head directly right next to you to grab the other one. And that is all six sea turtles investigated with a new record apparently wow. welcome back how's the water and when you dive the belly you'll get please come scuba diving again sometime congratulations on setting a new record come back to scuba dive again sometime and next up on the agenda is of course Surfing. Congratulations on getting five stamps! In exchange, I'll tell you something special. Have you tried playing over an activity where you already got a stamp? Once you earn a stamp, there will be new games for you to play. Plus, you can play them in the activities anytime you like. Try playing activities over again and see what happens. Now, for the Kawaii Stamp Dash. The next activity I'd recommend is... Surfing! You can only do it at Kokonoa Island, which is a separate island in the Marine Resort. In order to get there, talk to one of the Kakanor staff located on the Sunshine Beach Pier. Have fun! I'll be looking out for you! No need to grab any sort of vehicle, because it is literally on the exact same pier as the surfing. It's, look, look, here's surfing, or sorry, here's scuba diving, there's surfing. We, 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 we barely have to break a sweat to get over here. We don't even have to break a sweat, actually. Talk. <laughs> Sup? Welcome. Come here wherever you want to transfer to Coconor Island, the surfer's paradise. Let's head out. Going to Coconor Island. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Let's go surfing. Coconor Island. Alright, so now we are on a surfboard which we can customize in the in the menu, um, but we're not going to customize it now. So, um, surfing is located right over here, and as you can see, according to uh, the map, does, it, there's really nothing, there isn't much to do on Conakar Island. Basically, when you want to return to the Marine Resort, you want to come here. And pretty much the only thing worthwhile on this island is surfing. There really isn't all that much else. There's a few proto-ops and treasure hunts, but... Or treasure hunts, but nothing else. 
Yo! Yo, 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 you here to try some surfing activities? Before that, I got some wisdom to bestow. There are two times in life when you can't back down. One is protecting your family, one against the other one. That's right, when you're up against a big wave, you can't possibly back down when you finally catch a big one. So how do the waves feel the day? I hope you catch a big wave. That was my horrible, horrible, horrible attempt at rapping. And I'm not even going to call it rapping. So... You have to keep surfing to store up air power, and the more you have, the higher you will jump. Store up air power and jump to pull off tricks in midair. Um, you have to push the control stick left or right to perform tricks, or shake while pressing the D-pad to perform tricks. Pattern A, pattern B, two different things. Depends on your personal preference. Now, I'm not going to be covering all the different stages and games that are there to offer per activity. Um, I'm going to leave, because I'm not going to show, you know, I'm, I'm going to leave some stuff for you guys to discover on your own. I'm just going to cover the main highlights for this Let's Play. Um, and then let's surf. Let's gather up some power. And now we've got some air power, so let's ride. Or, er, ride up. Perform some tricks, perform some tricks. And land. So now let's turn it around. And get some air power. And then turn it up. Oh, catching the big wave, catching the big wave. Turn to the right, and catch some big air from all of the tricks in the world. Per nah, nail that landing. Pretty straightforward stuff. Honestly, there isn't much else for me to explain here. Just once you have air power, you can turn to the right and uh, catch some air, and then just perform some tricks. There is pretty basic activity. There isn't much I need to explain here. It is incredibly basic. Um, also, this isn't one of my preferred activities because of how clunky the controls are. Um, there isn't really any right to, def to ensure that you'll get above. It's, it's really up to random acts of chance. And you all know how I feel about random acts of chance. Oh, I made a mistake. That's a deduction. You, you, there's, there's a deduction for every mistake that you make. Oh, I was not ready. I was not ready. I did not have air power. And I get a C. Well, that's lovely, isn't it? I do not think I have ever gotten an A. On the, the highest I think I've gotten is a B on um, this on the surfing activity, <sighs> but I'm not the best of the activity. I'll be the first to admit it. <laughs> nice job. The more you surf, the better you'll get. So, no, oh wait, I'm sorry. Nice job. The more you surf, the better. The, the more you surf, the better you'll get to keep it up. No way. You just set a new record. Let's hear it for our champion. Keep up the good work. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, looking at the timer, we sadly do not have enough time for any more events this episode, but I do promise you we will be able to knock the rest of them out in the next episode. And the next activity recommended to us by the Kaka the Kawawi is the water gun battle, um, which is it, it's a water gun fight. It, there's nothing nothing much else about that one. It's it, it's just it, it's it's a water gun fight basically. You know those, you know those, uh, the, the super soakers that you you used to do at uh, at summer camps, run around on the grass and just sweat each other in the bathing suits. I don't know. I went to one of those um, before I started seventh. Yeah, seventh. Before I went to one of those before I started seventh grade. It was fun. We just ran around. We basically I brought in like a water slide and like a slip and slide, and we had a lot of fun with that. We made some cool games, and uh, we it was a lot of fun. I'm not gonna go into detail. Just Ne never mind, we're getting off topic. So I'm going to quickly go back to the Marine Resort. Uh, yes, I do want to go back to the Marine Resort. And then I am going to get end off the episode. And the next episode, we'll go into the Mystic Jungle. And we will start doing, or start, okay, we'll finish off the Marine Resort events. Starting off with the, with the Water Gun Battle. And as you can see, it is all the way out there. In the Mystic Jungle. L literally, it's probably... It's not the farthest point you can go. The farthest point you can go is that... Anyway, just beyond it in the Mystic Jungle. Um, but it's pretty darn close to it. So, um, I'll show you... I'm not going to go all the way there right now, but... What well, well, I'm going to make... I'm going to go all the way to where we had to go to in order to go skydiving, if that's any consolation. I'll go that far, then I'll end off the video. Because that is a, that, that's when we hit land. After this... After the tidal, after this big expanse of tidal wave C, we are going to hit land, and then at that point, I am going to end it off. Um, wait, what's this? Is this bungee jumping? I think this might be bungee jumping. 
a bunch of time. Yeah, a bunch of time. Okay. So, that's that. Uh, there's a treasure chest up there. I'm not gonna get that until we start up the, or so I do the treasure chest video. I am going to this mount here, and then I will pick it up in the next episode. So, I would like to thank you all for watching. Uh, stay tuned to the next one, and until next time, this has been Gaming Magic 13. Signing off, saying hope you have a fantastic horrible day, and I will catch you all next time around for some more Go Vacation. Goodbye!